Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Free America. Let's talk about the the biggest problem we have in this country today. The most dangerous situation we've got. I was talking last Sunday to a buddy of mine, a guy from my Sunday school class, and we was talking about what the what we believe to be the most biggest problem we have in this country. And I looked at him and I said, well, you know, Donald J. Trump is God's man. It doesn't it doesn't seem to matter what he touches, it turns to gold for the United States. And he agreed with me. You know, the tax, the tax reductions, the corporate tax reductions, none of the stuff that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all the, that crowd said was going to happen. None of it happened. Companies did not pocket the tax break. They gave it to their employees, most of them. The uh, the tax breaks to individuals did not cost money in the long run. It actually caused us to start making. I saw a write up the other day that we took in more money for the government since the tax breaks than we would have made without them. It's amazing, isn't it? Also, Everything we've been told that was going to happen hasn't. Everything that Mr. Trump has tried to do, has done for us, has prospered us. They're talking about a blue wave in November. They're talking about a blue wave, the fall of the red red states. That's a possibility, folks. Because we have elements of the deep state, you know, the print media, electronic media, the masters of the universe, who are all trying to make sure that Trump loses. Now, I told you that our worst enemy on this deal, I'd reveal him, reveal our worst enemy. And you've got to remember, this is in my opinion. But I think I'm accurate. Our worst enemy is the face we shave every morning. Or you ladies put makeup on. Or you guys, whatever you do. Folks, if we don't start doing the things we need to be doing in this country very, very quickly, then we are soon going to be wondering what hit us. Nancy Pelosi. Chuck Schumer have both said that if they win control of the, the Congress and the Senate, the tax breaks are going to go away and they're going to raise taxes. Nancy Pelosi has told Democrat 
Democrats who are running for office, if you have to, lie to your constituents. Just win the election. Folks, this is time that a lot of you need, including me, need to get down on your knees and ask God's forgiveness, ask God's protection over our leaders, and make sure that the war being waged is against evil and not against the American public. Then there's one other thing you got to do. And a couple other things, actually. Come November, you need to get off your fat and flabbies. If you got, you get to early voting, you need to go vote. If you can't go to early voting, you need to take off on November 6th long enough to go vote. And you need to vote your conscience, which I hope will be a Republican ticket. We need to get rid of all these crazy people. You know, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, I could name a few more. At least one or two from California more. And start getting a supermajority back into the Congress where Republicans are not as dependent on the Democrats. You know, they're, they're trying to attack Judge Kavanaugh because they're afraid he's going to end Roe v. Wade. I think he has no intentions of overturning Roe v. Wade, even if it's brought up. Now, I'm a pro-lifer. I believe that that child should have the right to live. But there are others who says my enlightened views are, are not enlightened. All I can tell you folks is go in, go in blessed and have a blessed day. Pray for the goodness of the Lord upon our country. Please, do some digging. You know, they're going to find, they're going to find every piece of dirt they can against conservatives. And they're going to do their best to hang, to hide the dirt on the liberals. But just remember who's, what it was like under Obama's hand. What it was like under Bill Clinton. And believe me, Bill Clinton and Barack Obama is nothing compared to Hillary. She is, well, she's bat, bat crap crazy. And you just, everybody needs to face it. She's nutty as a fruitcake. So folks, please, vote your conscience, but get out and vote. And then, ladies and gentlemen, keep prepping. I don't care if Donald Trump, Mike Pence, Ivanka Trump, or who's in office, keep prepping. It's better to have it, not need it, than to need it, not have it. All right? Have a blessed day. And welcome back to Free America. Good day.